Happy birthday, Liz! Oh, John, you're spoiling me. You must have better things to do with your money. Yeah, spend it on the cat. Mm, thank you so much, John. You're a darling. And that's not all, Liz. Huh? I've cooked a delicious four-course Italian dinner. Oh, John, I love Italian food. Once again, Liz is trying to do my job. And this is from the three of us. Huh? Garfield, Odie, and me. John, this is wonderful. You all look so pretty in this picture, especially Garfield. <laughs> the camera loves me. It must have been quite difficult to take this, getting Garfield and Odie to sit still long enough. Nah, it was a piece of cake. <laughs> Do not believe that, man. You have no idea what it took to get that picture. It all started yesterday morning. Yum, 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 yum. It had been a perfect day. Woke up at 10, had breakfast, back in bed by 10.15. Just as I was waking up for my pre-lunch snack, John came in with one of those looks on his face. Garfield, Odie, this is very important. Very important is something that affects my eating or sleeping. Tomorrow is Liz's birthday. Not very important. <laughs> and we're going to give her a very special gift, a family picture. <laughs> Great. Go find a family and take one. Here's a sketch of the photograph I have in mind. I want the three of us with great big smiles. <gasps> <laughs> this is silly. No force on this planet could get me to do this. And if you guys cooperate and we get the picture exactly right, there'll be extra lasagna tonight. <laughs> okay, I'm in. I sell out cheap, don't I? Anything involving tomato sauce and I'm yours. Okay, guys, let's go to it. It'll only take a few minutes. It'll only take a few minutes. When does anything that will only take a few minutes actually only take a few minutes? I have a timer on this so I can get in the picture before it goes off. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, let's set the timer on, uh, let's say, 10 seconds. <sighs> <laughs> Oops. Uh, looks like I set the timer wrong. <laughs> huh? Ah. Uh. Oh, I don't know. Looks to me like you got your best side. This time we should be all right. I set the timer on 30 seconds. Okay, guys, look at the camera and say cheese. Cheese. Hurry up. I have a cramp in my jaw. Maybe I forgot to push the right button. I'll just take a quick look. I think the last shot of you was better. Jeez. Say cheese. Chatter. Odie, stop it. Bad dog, bad dog. And that's pretty much how it went all day long. Say cheese. All this talk of cheese is making me hungry. Cheese. Meow. Meow. This is an awful picture, Nermal. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? You're in it. That's what's wrong with it. Why can't I be in the picture? I'm adorable. This is a family picture, Nermal, and you are not, I'm pleased to say, family. In any case, you're too close to the camera. Oh, how far should I be? How about that far? Chatter. How far are you sending me this 
time. Maybe you can have your picture taken with some Martians. <laughs> And don't come back! Oh. Cheese. Hi, neighbor. I was fixing myself a nice cup of coffee, and then I realized I was out of sugar. I was wondering if I could borrow some from you. We're trying to take a photo here. Hey. Good shot of the next door neighbor. Lousy shot of you. <laughs> Chatter. Hi, Liz. Uh, yeah, we're on for your birthday celebration tomorrow. <gasps> John? John? Are you there? He was there. His brain wasn't, but he was. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Hi again, neighbor. You won't believe what I found under my sink. An old package of sugar. <laughs> so I, I guess I won't be needing yours. How's that family picture of yours coming along? Meow. What part of the phrase don't come back wasn't clear? <laughs> If this seems drastic to you, you're obviously never met Nermal. Trust me, it's necessary. Uh, oh no, my nostril is itching. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Chatter. Ah, figures. The weather report was for clear skies and temps in the 80s. Say cheese, everyone. I keep seeing cheese and not getting any. No comment. All right, now. Before I start the timer, is everything okay? No rain showers imminent? Not a cloud for miles. No one's nose itches? I scratched mine already. How about you? No one's going to interrupt us? No one's going to interrupt us. Fine. I'm starting the timer. <laughs> Say cheese! Has someone order a large pizza with extra pepperoni and mushroom? Why? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Hey, it's your fault for making me think of cheese all day. <laughs> all right, I've had enough. It's time to do something drastic. Okay, everyone ready? Do you think this looks okay? Of course he looks okay. I am one of the world's greatest professional photographers. I can make anyone look good. Even the three of you. All right. I think. You know, if you'd have done this in the first place, it would have saved us a lot of grief. Here? All right. Here we go. One, two, three. She. 
Cheers! I need more pizza. They are fit. Magnificent! I have outdone myself. I shall make a print for your lady friend. And that's what it took to get the picture taken for Liz. Well, it's a great photo, and I thank you all for it. It's just... Huh? Oh. Uh, something wrong with it? Oh, no. It's great, but... Well, John, there's a certain expression I know you for. A, a special look you often have on your face. What look is that? Well, it's hard to describe, but it's so typically you. Hmm. <laughs> That's it, John. That's the look I know you for. I know that look very well. Garfield, do you ever stop eating? Mm, sure, when I sleep and when I take naps. See, that's exactly my point. When it comes to food, you lack willpower of any kind. Oh. <laughs> that's baloney. I could lay off food any time I want. If I really wanted to, I could do it. Yeah, right. Want a bet? <laughs> sure. I'll bet that you can't go one whole hour without eating anything. If you lose, you'll be my personal slave for a whole week. And what's in it for me if I win? <laughs> How about I stay away from your house for an entire month? <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's 11 o'clock. The bet will end at 12. Good luck. <gasps> it's only an hour. We're just talking 60 minutes, 3,600 seconds. <gasps> It'll be over in no time. This clock can't be right. The hands aren't even moving. Congratulations, Garfield! You just made it through the first minute! One minute? That's all? But it feels like it's been an hour already. In fact, it feels like it's been three hours and 47 minutes. You're not giving up, are you? Heck no. As a matter of fact, I'm not even one bit hungry. <gasps> If you say so, see you later. <sighs> 59 more minutes. <sighs> this is harder than I thought. I gotta find ways to keep my mind off my stomach. I know, I'll watch TV for an hour. TV's always a good way to waste your time. I mean, use your time. <laughs> I'm making chocolate milkshake. Oh. This has never been so easy thanks to our new turbo-powered chocolate-making machine! Oh. Rick, did you find it? Yes, bacon and cheddar, your favorite. Oh. Ah. 
Oh, my. Oh, oh no. Don't miss the new all-you-can-eat pizza buffet at Vero's. It's the best pizza on the planet. Let me I show you, you how pizza oh, oh, oh. should be made. Huh? I tasted myself to make sure this... Garfield? What on earth are you doing? Uh, uh, oh, uh, there was uh, this unsightly blotch on the screen, and it uh, just wouldn't go away, so I thought I'd clean. <laughs> oh, look! There, on the carpet! <laughs> It'll definitely take more than a kernel of popcorn to turn me into your personal slave, Nermal. Oh, look at the time. Only 55 more minutes of not eating to go. <sighs> 55 more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this is the longest hour of my whole life. I must find something to do that doesn't involve eating. Of course, I'll take a nap for the remaining 55 minutes. I'm sure Nermal didn't see that coming. <sighs> and when I wake up from my little nappy poo, I'll be rid of him for 31 days in a row. <sighs> That's something to really look forward to. Garfield, lunch is ready. Uh, huh? Yes, Master. Uh, could you just give me a minute? Huh? Ah! Okay, I'm feeling much better now. Really. Here you go, Odie. That one's for you, Normal. <laughs> And the big one's for... <gasps> Garfield? No. Triple cheese lasagna! <laughs> Thanks for rubbing the salt in my wound. Are you sure you don't want any? <laughs> no. <laughs> Fine. Who wants a second helping? Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Garfield? Meow. Oh, no! Stop! This really hurts. I can't take this any longer. This hour will never end. This hour will never end. No. <laughs> Come back here and bring some mustard. <laughs> Is everything all right? <laughs> Shh. Do you hear it too? Hear what? Hear what? Garfield, come to me. <sighs> uh. 
Come to me, Garfield. I know you want what's inside of me. Oh my! Open me. Eat us, Garfield. Eat us, Garfield. We miss you. Don't you love us anymore? Can't, can't give up now. Must, must resist. Yes, yes, you'll feel better. Stop. Eat us, eat us. You'll feel better. Eat, eat, eat. I made it! I won! I won the bet thanks to my amazing willpower! Yippee! Oh, congratulations. You win. I'll keep my part of the bet. I won't set one foot in this house for a whole month. <laughs> It's never tasted so good. Oh, I don't feel so hot all of a sudden. Oh. His temperature is normal. I think it's just a mild case of indigestion. Oh, no, I'm, I'm fine, really. Uh, do you think I could have one of those uh, cookie thingies now? I don't think so, Garfield. <gasps> don't give him any solid food for the next 24 hours, just to be on the safe side. 24 hours? You gotta be kidding, I barely made it through one. to respect our bet and stay out of this house for one whole month. You could have helped me with this enormous, chocolatey, yummy ice cream. <laughs> no. Faster, Odie, and angrier. I'm much more impatient than that. I'd be pacing back and forth impatiently, but it's easier to have Odie do it for me. John ordered that pizza almost 12 minutes ago. It's too late for me. I'm famished. Even if it came this minute, I'd be too weak to answer the door. I'll get it. I'll bring in the pizza. I'll bring in the pizza. You bring out the money. Attention, hungry cat. <laughs> you ever feed that cat? No more than ten times a day. Ah, Vito's Pizza. The best pizza in the world. Mm -hmm. Sure. 
Something is very wrong here. That was the worst pizza I ever had. It was dry. It was tasteless. Vito, what have you done to me? <gasps> Mama Mini's Pizza Palace? Yeah, I know it wasn't a Vito's pizza I ordered, but I had a coupon for this place. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> okay, I guess you mind a little. Ah, Mr. Arbuckle, it is so good to see you. It is so good to see any customer. Well, business isn't good, Vito? Business is terrible since this new pizza shop opened next door. Look at this monstrosity! Mamma Mini's Pizza Palace Pui! Mamma Mini's Pizza Palace Pui? She's the one who made that awful pizza? They have a coupons, and deals, and a contest, and they've stolen all of my customers away! So, why not sell this dump of yours to me so I can expand my business? Never! Are you? Right, I'm Mamma Mini. Here, have a coupon. Twelve pizzas for the price of one. <gasps> Twelve pizzas? Oh, that's quite a deal. <laughs> not if they're not edible. His pizzas are horrible the way he makes them. Let Vito show you how pizza should be made. The dough is a hand mixed. I taste it myself to make sure it is right. Oh, it's perfect. And then I toss it in my hand. I put on the sauce, lots of it. And then the cheese, even more of it. And now I add on the sausage, <gasps> and the pepperoni, and the onions, and the mushrooms, and the anchovies. <laughs> All right, no anchovies. <laughs> That's quaint. But would you follow me, please? Well, let me show you how we do it now, the modern, cost-effective way. It's so much better to do it by machine. The Pizza Grand 7000, capable of outputting 10 pizzas a minute. That thing makes pizzas? Pizza by machine? That is it human. It is vulgar. It is ridiculous. Pizza completed. There you are, piping out pizza. That is the way to make pizza. I'll try a slice. Uh, Garfield, you want one? <gasps> no way. I've tried Mama Mini's alleged pizza. Oh! <laughs> mm. I'd like a pizza with everything, please. Allow me to show you how it works. Yes, sir, Mama Meanie. One pizza with everything. Hey, do I look like a ball of dough? No, don't answer that. Help! Ouch! Hey, watch it! Oh, let... This pizza tastes a lot like cardboard. Uh, no, it doesn't. My all-meat special tastes like cardboard. This one tastes like styrofoam. Pepperoni, onions, peppers, anchovies. Hey, no anchovies. Pineapple. Uh, yeah, fine. And five, four, three, two. Pizza completed. Oh. Here you go, pal. Oh. When I said I wanted everything on my pizza, I didn't mean a pussycat! Hey, you're better off with me than one of those guys rotten pizzas. I'm sorry, Mama Meanie. I will never order from you again. But what if I offer you discounts? Discounts? And contests with big cash prizes. Big cash prizes? Yes, yes! <laughs> you see? <laughs> My promotions will trump your pizza every time, which is why you'll sell your business to me so I can tear it down and expand. Vito's Pizza, I'm sorry, we are closing down and... Yes, this is Eddie Gorman, the world-famous TV food critic. I'm sure you've heard of me or seen me. <laughs> I've decided to try your pizza, and if I like it, well, I will recommend it to the millions of people who watch my reviews on television. Recommend my pizzas to millions? That's right, millions! So have a large pepperoni to my home, 747 Waffle Street, in 30 minutes or else, bye bye This is my chance! Eddie Gourmand is going to review my pizza! Eddie Gourmand? But he has a huge following, and what's worse, he has good taste! 
Out of my way, Mama! After Eddie Gorman tells the world about my pizza, crowds will flock to my store. Well, we'll just have to make sure that doesn't happen. But Vito, I don't know anything about delivering pizzas. My truck is in the working, and the pizzas have to be at this address in... 12 minutes! Hurry! Hey, wait for the star of the show. Forget them, we have to stop that pizza from being delivered. Mamma mia! Mamma mia is trying to stop the delivery. I cannot let that happen. If I don't get to 747 Waffle Street, there will be no more Vito's Pizza! Papa! <laughs> I've never heard of Waffle Street. You'll have to find it on the map. Which will be kind of hard to do since this is a map of Portugal. He's trying to run us off the road! Mama Mini! He's trying to stop us from delivering Vito's pizza! Sure looks that way. Okay, pal. Let me have that pizza. Uh, what pizza? Do I have a pizza? You've got just three seconds to hand over that pizza, fella. Well, this guy plays rough. I better do something. I may need ammunition. Well, listen, maybe we could forget all this pizza stuff and send out for Chinese food. <laughs> oh, Mama, looks like you have a pizza delivery truck to go. Oh. Our truck! Onward! We have pizza to deliver! <laughs> Don't let him get away! <laughs> They're right behind us! These are Mama Meanie's pizzas. Here's the only thing they're good for. They make great frisbees. Rancid pepperoni all over the windshield. You did it, Garfield. Nothing can stop us now. We have one minute to get the pizza to 747 Waffle Street. Not so. Oh. This is 747 Waffle Street. <gasps> We're here. Quick, give me the pizza. Wait, that's not... Oh. Just in time. Well, it's about time. Ten more seconds and I'd give you a bad review. <laughs> here, taste. You will love. <laughs> Why, this is the worst pizza I've ever eaten. My pizza. The worst. Here, have a real Vito's pizza. Mama Meanie's Pizza Palace. This isn't Vito Pizza. Mmm, yes. This is Vito's Pizza. Mmm. Oh, this is the best pizza I've ever eaten. <laughs> Thank you, Cat. I think you deserve some, too. I thought you'd never offer. So, for the best pizza on this entire Plano Mundo Mundo, go to Vito's. And if you want the worst pizza on this planet, well, try Mama Meanie's. It stinks. <laughs> I love the Eddie Goodman. Every time they rerun that review, I get another hundred orders. So I see. <sighs> Maybe I can retool the pizza-making machine to make steel-belted radial tires. They taste about the same.
I am so grateful for all your help, all of you. From now on, as much pizza as you want. You are Vito's guests. All the free pizza we want? Ow. Will he ever stop? Oh, sure. He's bound to hit anchovies eventually. You think you can rob a bank and get away with it? When will you criminals learn that you are no match for ultra-powerful guy? <laughs> Once again, I have saved the day and brought justice to the world! Boy, ultra-powerful guy sure has a high opinion of himself. Garfield, could I have a potato chip? No. But I guess if you are uh, perfect and admired, it's hard to be humble. Here, have a potato chip. Thanks, Garfield. Oh. Hey, well, I don't need your snacks. I'm so cute, I could get it on my own. This I gotta see. Are my eyes deceiving me, or is that the cutest kitty I ever saw? He's so adorable! Here, let's give him an entire pepperoni pizza with mushrooms and Canadian bacon. <laughs> Sorry, Garf. I don't have a slice to share. Oh, if Ultra Powerful Guy came by, I bet you'd have a slice for him. Idea happening. that long underwear of John's. <sighs> now I'm gonna need a towel and some boots. <laughs> Didn't know I was this handy, did you? Here you go, boy. A nice dish of sardines. <laughs> Beware, evildoers. You thought you could get away with your evil doing, but you failed to reckon with the awesome might of Ultra Powerful Guy. Wow. Citizen, have you seen any evildoers around here? I'm searching for the villainous Dr. Drastic. He's a master of disguise, and I have reason to believe he's currently made himself look like this. But don't be afraid. He's only dangerous when he spreads around his disastrous Omega-3 explosive devices, which he makes to look like harmless but delicious sardines. <laughs> Great Scott, that diabolical villain. Fear not, citizen. Ultra-powerful guy is on the job. I shall dispose of these dangerous items. Up, Up and away! Hi, boy. How are those sardines? Odie, what's wrong? Odie, stop! It's me, John! John! Mmm. 
Oh, gosh. Wish I had a napkin. Oh, wait. I always wondered why superheroes needed capes. Now I know. I wonder if there are any cat shows I could enter today and, of course, win. <gasps> Let's see, calculators, caterers, caterpillars. Ah, here we go, cat shows. Uh -huh. Two o'clock, I'll win it and be home by three. Hey, hey, it's stuck. Hey, I'm trapped in this phone booth. Help, I'm stuck in this phone booth, help. This looks like a job for ultra powerful guy. Here I come to save the day! Ouch. Ouch. You saved me! Who are you? <laughs> Don't you recognize me? Oh, I thought everyone knew Ultra Powerful Guy. What? I fly. I leap over tall buildings in a single bound. I eat. Which reminds me... All of this superheroing stuff has made me work up an appetite. Could you show your appreciation by, uh, kindly supply my purpose? Sure. It's the least I could do for ultra powerful guy. Meow. <laughs> Meow. <laughs> what a cute cat. Here, take this plate of spaghetti and meatballs. Here you go, UPG. Thanks. Do you mind? I'm trying to eat here. Oh, sorry. See you later, superhero. <laughs> now that's how you eat spaghetti, kids. None of this twirling on a fork jazz. You know what kind of dessert goes after spaghetti? Any kind of dessert. My, what an incredibly cute cat. Say, incredibly cute cat, have you seen two men around here? They're wanted criminals. Sorry, haven't seen anyone. Oh, this is great. I'll rescue Normal again and have his cute magic reward me with a couple of pies. Here we go. Hey, hey, slow down. I have to get to him before you. Citizen, look out. I'll protect you from that runaway dumpster. Stop this thing! Yeah! I'm telling you, Joe, this is the time to rob that bank. And I'm telling you, Mo, not with Ultra Powerful Guy around. That guy's too, he's too... Ultra Powerful? That's the word. He can do anything. Anything except stop a runaway trash dumpster. Apparently. No, no, help! That didn't look very ultra-powerful to me. Me neither. <laughs> I'll bet Batman doesn't get banana pills in his mask. Hey, Mo, you see that? I see, I see. Ultra-powerful guy without his mask. He's a... he's a... cat! Yeah, kind of a fat one, too. Gotta hurry. I have dessert coming. <laughs> Just think. We know ultra-powerful guy's secret identity. And we know his weakness. He is a cat. Let us go rob ourselves a bank. Let us. It's real simple. I saved your life, I get a reward. Aren't superheroes supposed to fight for truth and justice? Yeah, we do all that stuff. But sometimes we also need pie. Now get on with it. Banana cream with some chocolate sprinkles. All right. I'll put on my best banana cream pie with chocolate sprinkles cuteness. <clears throat> Meow. My goodness, I've never seen a cuter cat in all my life. Here's a chocolate cream pie with banana sprinkles. <laughs> <sighs> Close enough. Ooh. 
Wow, you're kind of a disappointment, ultra powerful guy. Not now. I have a pie. Oh, gee. Ultra powerful guy wasn't that impressive. I wish I could have seen him do something really ultra powerful. Huh? Oh no, a bank robbery. What do we do? What do we do? I know. This looks like a job for ultra powerful guy. Hey! But I keep telling you, I don't do bank robbers. You know what I'm good at. Give me another pie. You're a superhero. It's your duty to foil those nasty bank robbers. I, I don't suppose you guys would like to stop in the name of the law? It's Ultra Powerful Guy. <laughs> we ain't afraid of Ultra Powerful Guy, because we know his secret and that we can defeat him with this. What is that? You don't know what it is? It's a catnip mouse. Which is every cat's weakness. Doesn't do anything for me. Maybe if you had one stuck with lasagna. It ain't working. Yeah, let's get out of here with the loot. <laughs> Great Scott. This looks like a job for... Ultra Powerful Guy. Huh? Hey, you closed the door in my case. What? Wait, stop! Cape Cod! Yoo-hoo! Whoa! Help! Help! Me! Stop, please! Never once happened to Batman, trust me. Stop the car! Save a cat! Ah! End of the road for you three! Yeah! Oh! Two! There are two of them! Honest, I'm just sort of a, a tag-along or pull-along. I don't count. What? <laughs> nice work, cat. <laughs> if you hadn't delayed them, I never would have caught them. That was awesome, Ultra Powerful Guy! You were just amazing and... Hey, which one of you is Ultra Powerful Guy? I am. Oh, come on. Tell me, which one of you is Ultra Powerful Guy? I am. Guys, this is not fair. One of you is a real Ultra Powerful Guy, which is it? I am. <laughs> come on, okay. Which one of you is the real Ultra Powerful Guy? I am. Oh, this is impossible. All right, guys, last time. Which one of you, real UPG, hit me? I am. Mind if I stop at the market and buy a few things? Mind? As long as they're edible, why should we mind? I think I'll take a nap while Odie sticks his head out the window and lets his tongue flap in the breeze. <coughs> hey, for a dog, that's heavyweight intellectual activity. Oh, I dream about some edible things. Boy, it's a beautiful night. A clear sky and all those stars. It's the kind of night that makes you wonder if there are people out there. <laughs> People on other worlds are from other times visiting us. Mother Thunder, Superman! I'll be home in 90 nanoseconds, Miriam. Cheese uh, Puffs, I got you a 500 year supply of those just 300 years ago. All right, all right. 
I'll pick up some before I get home. I'm going to have to stop off at Earth in the 21st century. Okay, okay. Get you a jelly donut, too. You'll have to wait just outside the door, Odie. Garfield, are you coming? I can't answer you. In addition to the fact that I can't talk, I'm also asleep. We'll be back soon. Okay. A 500-year supply of cheese puffs and a jelly donut. I guess that's a balanced diet. I know what you're thinking. It's just a little harmless spider, not hurting anyone. And you're right, of course. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna swat that spider! I got you now! No, I got you. Now! Okay, this time for sure. Okay, then this time! Okay, this is it, spider. You're toast! You're an ex-spider! You're gonna be flatter than one of John's souffles. Why do I have the feeling I really don't want to know? John? Odie? Anybody I know? I'll even settle for normal. Hello, somebody? I don't know where I am, but I have the feeling they like cheese here. Ah, at last. Someone I know. Hey, Squeak. <laughs> Boy, you are so not squeak. <laughs> Sorry, I just remembered to make an appointment to not be here now. We're here. I don't suppose it would do any good to mention that I never chase Mike. <laughs> Guys, give me a break. I haven't eaten and it's dinner time. That's right, dinner time. Hey, I think they're taking me to dinner. This is great. This is not great. Oh no, ketchup. Oh no, lettuce and tomato. Hey, would you please hold the onion? Thank you. I think this sandwich had better be to go. One of these must start it. Or turn on the CD player or something. Ooh. I don't like hairy sandwiches anyway. There must be some instructions in here somewhere on how to fly this thing. An instruction manual. I'm saved, I'm saved, I'm saved! Okay, how to steer craft. See page 19. Page 19, page... Ah, here it is. Page 19. 
To steer craft, grab hold of the bleen and rotate it into the Zierman position for five freeps. I'm not saved! I'm not saved! I'm not saved! Another weird world. Who or what lives on it? It's probably some horrible monster even worse than those mice people. Something's coming. One of those horrible monsters I know. Here it comes. It's gonna be the ugliest, most hideous thing in the universe. I just know it. Oh, hey, who are you? I'm Garfield the cat. You can't be Garfield, I'm Garfield. Oh yeah? If you're Garfield, then answer me this. What do you do all day? I sleep, eat, and annoy small puppies. What do you do all day? I sleep, eat, and annoy puppies. Hey, hey maybe, maybe you, you are Garfield. Garfield. But, if but if you're, you're Garfield, Garfield, then who am I? I know who you are. You're Garfield. Isn't there anything different about us? Well, there is this one thing. Every so often, I turn into one of these. What a horrifying, awful experience. And he was so cute up until the near end. I wonder where I'm gonna wind up now? Huh? Hey, I know this house. This is our house. This is where I live. I'm home, I'm home. It's almost time for lunch and I'm home. Hmm, from that smell, I can tell John's cooking up something wonderful. Garfield, what good timing. I have lunch ready. <laughs> you look shocked. Didn't you know we're all spider people on this planet? Aren't we, Odie? <laughs> And I cooked you a nice fly lasagna. <laughs> no, no. And after we finish our flies, we're going to indulge in our favorite pastime. After him! Swat him the way he always swatted us! <laughs> Stop! I like spiders! I always like spiders! I never heard a spider. See? I'll even stoop to lying. Please! No! Don't swipe the cat! All done shopping, Odie. I hope Garfield wasn't too bored waiting in the car. You okay in there, Garfield? Garfield? Odie! Garfield's missing! <laughs> Hey, mister, have you seen an orange cat? Uh, my cat is missing. He's... What did you buy? A 500-year supply of cheese puffs. Why? Oh, never mind that. My cat is missing. Let me put these in my vehicle, and I'll help you look for your cat. Hey, not only is your cat gone, but so is my vehicle. <laughs> Maybe whoever took your vehicle took my cat. We need to call the police. No, you don't need the police. I have this remote homing device to bring my vehicle back when I lose it, or leave it somewhere. My only chance is to get back to that spaceship thingy car. Oh no! It's taking off without me! This is a waste of time. I'm calling the police to look for my cat and... I'm telling you, relax. See? <gasps> Garfield! Garfield, it's okay. You're back and you're safe. Yeah, but I'm not... I need... I Okie dokie. You got your cat back. I gotta get home. I know. I don't know what happened either, Garfield. And I have a strange feeling we never will. Oh, confound it! 
I forgot Miriam's jelly donut. Can't sleep either, huh? Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Huh? Garfield, I'm trying to clean. John, I'm trying to sleep. I'll vacuum later. Right now, I'll do the laundry. I can't think of anything more annoying than the sound of a vacuum cleaner. Just thought of something. They're doing spring cleaning over where I live, so I thought I'd come spend the day with you. <sighs> <laughs> Are you glad to see me? Normal, I'm so glad to see you. I'm gonna roll out the red carpet. Roll out the red carpet? Really? For me? What? <laughs> Garfield, is this how someone rolls out the red carpet to welcome someone? No, it's how we roll out the red carpet to get rid of someone. Hasta la vista, baby. I thought he'd never stop. <sighs> Better do Garfield's blanket while I'm at it. Uh, Pookie, you stay here. I wonder what kind of bleach is good for lasagna stains. <laughs> oh! Oh. Oh. That wasn't very nice, Garfield. That was kind of the idea, Nermal. You don't make a guy feel very welcome. You know, you should have a place in your home for guests like me. We do. <laughs> The perfect place. You know, Garfield, I'm beginning to get the idea I'm not wanted around here. Really? I can't imagine why. He'll be sorry. One of these days, Garfield's gonna be nice to me. <sighs> what? <gasps> and I think today's the day. <laughs> I'm <sighs> time for my pre-afternoon nap nap. This is the nap I take to warm up for my afternoon nap. I just washed the blanket in your bed, Garfield. <gasps> but now it doesn't smell like lasagna. <clears throat> oh well, guess I'll just have to spill some more. <sighs> hey, something's missing. No, someone is missing. Pookie, 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 oh Pookie. Oh well, he'll turn up. It's not like I can't live without him for two minutes. Yes it is, Pookie, Pookie, where are you? Pookie, are you in here? Pookie, are you in here? Pookie, oh Pookie. No. Pookie, are you in here? 
So that's what happened to my corned beef sandwich. I've been at it since 6 a.m., but my spring cleaning is all done, Liz. The house is absolutely spotless, and I'm... Oh, Pookie! What? But, but, but I just... I'll call you back, Liz! Pookie, come out wherever you are. Where is he, Arbuckle? Fess up. What could you be looking for so... Oh, I know. It's Pookie. Oh! Meow. Hand him over, Arbuckle, if you know what's good for you. I took Pookie out of your bed so I could wash the blanket. And I put Pookie right here on the... Huh? Hmm, that's funny. I put him right there. I'm waiting. Oh, you know what must have happened? I must have accidentally knocked him into the cardboard. You cad. <gasps> I don't see him anywhere in here. But then I emptied this into the trash cans outside. Don't worry, Pookie. I'm coming to save you. Pookie, where are you, Pookie? There's no Pookie in here. Garfield, I'm sorry if I accidentally threw Pookie out, but there's nothing I can do about it now. I can't believe I'll never see my little Pookie again. I'll never see a smiling face, never hear his friendly voice. Okay, so he doesn't say much, but... He was my pal. Who could do such a thing? Who could be so thoroughly rotten as to take my beloved Pookie? <laughs> you didn't. I did. Found him in the trash, right where you dumped me. This calls for diplomacy. It calls for intelligent, reasoned approach. You give me back my Pookie or I'll mail you to Abu Dhabi in a box mark. Please bend, fold, and mutilate. You little one call me Garfield, and you'll never see Pookie again. You can have him back on what condition? You have to be nice to me. How nice? Real nice. You wouldn't settle for almost nice? You be real nice to me the rest of the day, and I'll show you where I hid Pookie. Grr, growl, look at disgust. You win. Real nice. All right. Ah. Being nice to normal, it's, it's so unnatural. I need a cookie or two or 37. Ah. Bloodhound. <laughs> Put that nose of yours to some use and track down whoever it is who took all the cookies. It wasn't me. What am I gonna do? Normal in my bed with a stomach full of my cookies? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Hmm. Garfield, please don't shoot me in outer space. Too good for him. Garfield, please don't let the sharks eat me. <laughs> Nah, too kind. Plus, it would make the shark sick. Let me think. Garfield, please don't make me watch televised golf games. Yes. Oh. You're not being nice to me. You'll never see Pookie again. Pookie. I'll tell you what I'm going to do to Nermalodi. Absolutely nothing. Huh? Oh. You know, Garfield, as impossible as it may seem, I think yeah. I'm getting cuter. Oh. Don't you agree? <sighs> yes, Normal. I truly am the cutest kitty cat in the whole world. Don't you agree? <laughs> yes, Normal. You know, I want to hear you say it. Say, yes, Normal, you're the cutest kitty cat in the whole world. <laughs> Yes, Normal. You're the cutest. Excuse me. For just one minute. <laughs> yes, Normal. You are indeed the cutest kitty cat in the whole country. World. Excuse me. World. World. Eh, whatever. 
Thanks, Garfield. Hey, John's serving lasagna after he finishes re-cleaning the house. I think it would be nice if you let me have all yours. Ooh, meow. Ooh. That's it. I can't take any more of this. Ah! I didn't want to do it. Not even to normal, but I have to. I'm sending an email. I'm inviting John's cousin, Drusilla Minerva, to come visit. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> now who could that be? I just finished cleaning the house again. Drusilla! Minerva! Hi, Cousin John! We came to visit! <laughs> He's so cute! Very cute! Isn't he the cutest kitty you've ever seen? Absolutely! But he can be even cuter! Lucky we brought our makeup kits! Let me out of here! Oh. Oh. Garfield, you've got to save me from them! <laughs> Sorry, cute one, but uh, you're on your own. But you promised to be nice to me. I'm being nice to you. They're the ones who aren't being nice to you. Yeah, we need the shampoo and a rinse and eyeliner. Fleet his ears, wash his fur, curl his tail, let the ever you. Garfield, please. Gee, I, I'd help you, Normal, but I haven't been myself since Pookie disappeared. He's in the hollow tree in the backyard. And we can dye him. There you are, my friend. I'll help Nermal after Pookie and I get reacquainted. Don't bother. Well, Odie, I got Pookie back, and I never have to be nice to Nermal again. Everything worked out fine. There's another kitty! Uh, no. we'll Let me go! No, please! We'll give him a facial! I smell something terrific. I smell something baked and terrific. Oh. John is baking pies. No bread, no cake, no pies. Be oh, bread and cake and pies. <laughs> no, maybe muffins. <laughs> muffins, tarts, rolls, maybe cookies. I'm baking dough balls, Garfield. Maybe Danish, maybe prune Danish, maybe dough balls. We're driving to the cove to go fishing today. Dough balls make great bait to catch fish. <laughs> Yuck. What a cruel thing to do to a fish. Hi, Pupster. Going fishing with John? No, not me. You won't catch me out in that leaky boat of his getting seasick. I know, no, no, I don't care about the beautiful scenery. The only beautiful scenery I want to see is right here. If you're looking for food, Garfield, I packed everything to take on the fishing trip. <laughs> ah, fishing. The most glorious sport in all the world. Ah, fishing. 
The most glorious sport in all the world. Nah, I don't care about the fish, but I'll do anything for lunch. The water's so peaceful in this little cove. You know, guys, catching fish isn't the important part. It's the peace and the serenity and just being out in nature that matters. Fishermen always say that when they've been out three hours and haven't caught so much as a sardine. I don't care if I catch a fish. It doesn't matter to me one bit if I catch... <laughs> a fish! I've got a fish on my line! I did it! I did it! John did it! John did it! Alert the media. Hey, there he is! Oh, he's a beaut! He's an hors d'oeuvre. There we go. I knew my dough balls were the perfect bait. I'll put an even bigger one on and catch a bigger fish. Pasta and Alfredo sauce. I don't care if you are thirsty. Hey, we're surrounded by water. Try some. Find food. Gotta find food. Uh -oh. Ooh, that was close. Chopper almost spotted me. Now what was I doing? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Looking for dinner. Hey, there's something. Yeah, a dough ball. No fish in its right mind would bite onto one of those things. A one, Mama's favorite food. Oh. Mama will be so happy with this worm. Mama, Mama, look what I brought ya. Junior, you can't keep a dog down here. A dog? Oh, that's funny. I thought he was a warning. What's wrong with him, Mama? He's a dog, Junior. He needs air. Oh, well, uh, where can he get some? Hi, Mom. Hi, Junior. Hey, I know that dog. He needs air. He sure does. Hey, Bernie. Bernie Blowfish. That dog, he saved my life a little while ago. Now we gotta save his. You're full of air. Sure thing, Red. I'll give him one of my big, beautiful bubbles. Where's Odie? Odie? <laughs> That's funny. We're out in the middle of the cove and there's no sign of him. I guess he fell overboard. <laughs> fell overboard? Odie! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to do my one heroic deed for the year. Huh? He must be a goner. He couldn't breathe down here. Thanks again for throwing me back, dog. <laughs> There's an orange cat running out of air over there. <laughs> Friend of yours, dog? <laughs> yeah. Come on! <laughs> Hi, Odie. Hello. Oh, isn't 
nice place you got here. Your friend here saved my life. Would you like a little tour of the bottom of the cove? Oh, yeah, sure. We really like it down here. It's wet, but it's home. Well, it looks like rush hour. This is the main underwater thoroughfare. Ooh. And there's our traffic cop. Does he ever give out traffic tickets? Uh, only when he catches someone swimming over the speed limit. This is one of those new fast food places that are popping up. They have a swim through window. Anything tasty to eat? I'm famished. <laughs> Would you like a worm to go? I'm not that famished. That reminds me. I promised to find Mama a worm. Uh, see you later. The seahorses are at the starting gate. The track looks fast, but a little wet. Well, it looks like some sort of uh, racetrack. It is, and it looks like a race is just about to start. And there they go. Sea Biscuit is off to an early date, followed by Pony Boy, Little Squirt, and Amphibian at the rail. Approaching the finish line, Pony Boy and Sea Biscuit. Pony Boy and Sea Biscuit. I think I know. Hey, hey! Run! Uh-oh. I'm fish food. Here, fella, have a dough ball. I caught another fish? Chompers heading out of the coat and into the ocean. You saved us. Again. How can we show our appreciation? Well, the air's getting a little thin in here, so if you don't mind. Certainly. Barney? At your service. Going up? Whoa. Garfield? Odie? They must have gotten knocked overboard along with most of my gear. Oh, no. No! They were such wonderful friends. Huh? So cute. So adorable. <clears throat> Don't try to cheer me up, Garfield and Odie. I'm missing Garfield and Odie. Three, two, one. Garfield! Odie! You're safe! You're safe! <clears throat> Not if you keep hugging us like that. Let's celebrate. <laughs> we'll have lunch. Except that there's no lunch. We're stuck here until somebody comes by and rescues us. Stuck out here with nothing to eat? In the meantime, uh, dough ball? Uh, no thanks. I've seen what those things do to fish. <laughs> Don't worry. Someone will be along soon. I'm sorry all we have to eat are these dough balls. Ugh. Yeah, real sorry. Uh, could you pass the mustard, Odie? Oh, oh. <laughs>